It's Bill's ABCs of Baseball. We'll go right through the alphabet. I'm gonna give oh, a couple of friends here. We think about hitting in baseball, it's pretty easy for me, because I can do this all day long. It's Bill's ABCs of Baseball. Today's letter, B. My first thought on B is bunting. Now, some may say, okay, really? Bunting? Really? Well, I think about me. When I played, I hit second a lot, I hit ninth a lot. So if there was a rally situation, we got a runner on base, it's a tight ball game, my job in a lot of cases, either hitting second or ninth, is to get the guy up 90 feet. So, learn how to bunt. Now, if I'm talking nine and 10 year old baseball, I might get rid of bunting. I want these kids to learn how to hit first. First and foremost, you gotta learn how to swing the bat and try to find yourself as a complete player. Now, the higher we go up this ladder, and let's say we get into high school, where the coach of a high school team is looked upon to win. Now, bunting becomes a strategy that you can involve in the winning aspect of baseball. So like I said, if you're hitting second or ninth, know who you are. Get the guy up 90 feet, set the table for the bigger guys to drive in that run. Also with bunting, bunt for a base hit. Not necessarily giving yourself up. Tie ball game, you're leading off an inning. Okay, if the pitcher's nasty and he's got your number a little bit, drop one down, see if you can't beat it out and get on first base. So bunting becomes a very important part of this game when we climb the ladder to become a winning type player and help your team win. So Bill's ABCs of baseball, it's simple. My B is bunting.